Tokia, and welcome to Prayer Time with Tokami. I pray that all is well with you, everything that concerns you, that you are blessed, excited, and looking forward to the many blessings that Father has laid up for those of us who name his name, those of us who are his children as always it is a privilege and it is an honor to have you join me here at 12 noon for prayer time with tokeny i uh bless god for you i thank you for your overwhelming support your um dms of encouragement even you know when we are not able to broadcast even your inboxing or dming and saying where are you or i've missed the broadcast i've gotten emails um asking when we will be starting back up again you guys it is a privilege it is a blessing um to know that prayer time with tokeny is making this level of impact in your lives and that you take time out to watch, to participate, and to study the Word of God and pray with me on Thursdays at 12. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for um, your prayers. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for so much for um, reaching out and checking on me. I am well. I am so much better. I have overcome, and I am blessing the Lord and giving his name and his name alone all of the praise but i do know that the lord's desire is to use us to bless other people so those of you who have been praying for me who have been standing on the wall concerning my healing and breakthrough i am so very appreciative of you and i do not take it lightly amen over the years i've learned the value of inner Successes, prayer warriors, watchmen on the wall. And when God sends this level or these types of people in my life, all I can do is celebrate you. So go ahead and let's bless God. Amen. We made it through this last season. And I am so very looking forward to that that Father has to has for us amen on the other side of this i was before god just really praying seeking him as uh as far as what i would share with you guys on this week we know that this is uh the week that the united states of america uh celebrates our um independence we know that last month that african americans juneteenth we celebrated our independence or our freedom amen and um i just want to uh, talk about or, or share under the subject free indeed or uh share with you what true freedom looks like amen hallelujah because a lot of times we are claiming freedom we are saying we have freedom we have allow others to hold us in bondage or slavery or captive too long in our minds and in our hearts amen but uh my bible tells me according to john 8 and 36 the amplified version that so if the son makes you free then you are unquestionably free all right, I'm going to say it again. So if the son, if Jesus has made you free, then you are unquestionably free. Once you gave your life to Christ, there is a level of freedom and liberty that you have been adorned with. A lot of times, and you're going to hear me say it over and over and over again, it isn't until we understand the value of the redemptive work of Jesus Christ, the, 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 the fact that he came to earth, he lived on earth. He died. He went to hell and took the keys to death, hell, and the grave, brought them back. 
Amen. Um, deputize us when he said, these things that I have done, shall you do and greater. Amen. He opened the door for everything that we need. And it's high time that as Christians, as those who name the name of God, those of us who serve him to the very best of our ability. Amen. Are we perfect? No. But that was the purpose of the redemptive work of Jesus Christ as well. We ask for forgiveness. We are forgiven and we keep moving. Now, I didn't say that man works that way, but Jesus, our, our connection to God or our part of God that brought forth this level of grace into our lives works that way. So if you are a child of God, if you have submitted your life to Christ, you've asked Jesus to come into your heart, you've made a conscious decision that on a daily basis you are going to do your very best to live according to the principles and um, the requirements of the word of God, then sir, ma'am, you are truly free indeed. You are truly free indeed. And it's time out for us living beneath our kingdom privileges because of ignorance. And all ignorance is, is lack of knowledge because we have not got it in the word for ourselves to study what the word of God has to say about us. Amen. If you've been saved more than a year, baby, it's time to get your Bible and to learn about God and the things of God for yourself. Yes, you are blessed with a pastor, a prophet, an evangelist, a pastor, a teacher. Yes, they are a blessing. But do not allow yourself to think that just their teaching alone will sustain you. The word of God uh, even talks about how faith cometh by hearing hearing, reading, studying, okay? The Bible says study to show thyself approved. It and until you begin to get into that Bible and get an understanding of the word of God and its promises for you, not limited by any man's opinion, but by the word of God itself. You're going to find my opinion. I do not push my opinion because my opinion does not matter. I love you dearly. I love you greatly, but your opinion does not matter. What matters is the word of God. Now, when we begin to formulate our opinions based on the word of God, amen, and not taken out of context, then our opinions matter. Why? Because the word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. So I would propose to you that there are those of you who are listening to me today, you have a marginalized idea of freedom and liberty, amen, because you have not taken time to get in your Bible and to study what the Word of God has to say about you. There are people who this uh, video will run past. You are so busy trying to pe please the people in your life that you are uh, trying to do an outward show and you have not gotten in the word of God and allowed the word of God to penetrate your heart, your mind, your soul, and your spirit spirit. Hallelujah. There used to be a song that was out. Everything is going down, but the word of God. So we need to be rooted. We need to be grounded and we need to be fortified in the word of God. God. So uh, once again, John 8 and 36 says, so if the son, if Jesus has made you free, you are unquestionably 
free. So if there are any levels of bondage, any levels where you don't feel free, then there are some personal adjustments that need to make, be made in your heart and in your mind. So I'm going to be um, covering a few areas today. Um, um, that you need to ensure that you have laid before God and given to him and that you are walking fully in the word of God in order to experience true liberty and true freedom. Anybody other than me tired of living beneath your kingdom privileges? It comes through understanding who you are and what the word of God has been predestined and preordained to do for your life. Amen. So I began to go uh, and, and look up uh, the Bible definition of freedom, and it is a state of exemption from the power or control of another. Liberty, exemption from slavery, servitude, or confinement. Freedom in personal, civil, political, and religion. You don't hear me talk total freedom because some of you were freer before you joined your church you some of you were freer before you joined a religious organization why because you're operating not out of freedom but you are bound by legalism law that God never intended for you to be bound for. That's why he allowed his son to die. But that's a whole nother conversation. Amen. And we'll be talking about legalism because some of us need freedom from legalism. But that's a whole nother uh, conversation. And I am determined to stay on track. Let's go to Exodus, the seventh, third chapter. And I will be reading the seven through the ninth verses, um, amplified version. Once again, Exodus 3, verses 7 through 9, amplified. The Lord said, I have in fact seen the affliction or the suffering, the desolation of my people who are in Egypt and have heard their cry because of their taskmasters or oppressors, for I know their pain and suffering. So I have come down to rescue them from the hand or the power of the Egyptians and to bring them up from the land to a land that is good, spacious, to a land flowing with milk and honey, a land of of plenty to the place of the Canaanite, the Hittite, the Amorite, the Perizzite, the Hivite, and the Jebusite. Now behold, the cry of the children of Israel has come to me, and I have also seen how the Egyptians oppress them. Here we see a biblical example of a people that are oppressed. Amen. However, there is but so long that God will allow oppression to be in the lives of his people. And I'm going to leave it right there. Just pause and think about it. There is but so long that God will allow his people to be oppressed. And if you are still oppressed as a people, I don't care what gender, I don't care what um, color or creed or race, I don't care. If you are still feeling oppressed, first of all, it's time to check you. That's another time, that's another subject, and I will be covering it as well. So we see here, God heard the cries of the Egyptians and decided that it was time for freedom and liberty to come 
to their lives. However, we understand that the passage for the uh, way to freedom took way longer. What was intended to be 40 days turned into 40 years because the Egyptians or the, um, the children of Israel could not get out of the level of oppression that they were born into. So what God had to do pretty much is wait till all of them died, oh Father, in order to uh, bring them into the land flowing with milk and honey. And I'm sure that you have followed the path. You understand the different cycles that they went through because they were still in bondage. Amen. Hallelujah. There's nothing like, amen, having a new place of dwelling, yet still being in bondage. A place of freedom and liberty yet still being in bondage, okay? Number one, I want you to understand that freedom is a lifestyle. It's not just something that you cultivate or you do one time. You have to become uh, freedom-oriented. You have to become freedom um, uh, uh, expectant in every area of your life. Galatians, the fifth chapter and the first verse reads, uh, stand fast therefore in the liberty wherewith Christ has made us free and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Notice the, the uh, order that he put this in. He said, stand in the liberty or the freedom that God created for you through the redemptive work of Jesus Christ and stand in it. And in order for you to stand in it, you cannot allow yourself on any level to be entangled with yoke or with bondage ever again there is a lifestyle jesus said it and i mean he uh, put it out there so clearly he said i came um he said the son okay or the devil uh came to steal to kill and to destroy he said that was the process and that is the plot the plan uh, of the enemy concerning our lives to steal, to kill, and to destroy. He said, but I have come that ye might have life and not just life, but that more abundantly, the Zoe type of life. I looked up abundant life um, in the Greek and it's savia or savia. Savia means uh, a uh -huh, abundant life, well nourished, satisfied, happy, content. This is the level of freedom that God came, sent his son into this world to bring us to a place of. So freedom is not just something that you know you have, it's a lifestyle. And if you are in, when you come to a place of understanding that, that uh, you have a hard time with settling with status quo living. I beg to differ. I'm not just an average saint or just an average Christian. I am one of God's extraordinary kingdom advancers. I hunger and I thirst for savea over every area of my life. I have been placed on this Earth, uh huh, to be well nervous, nourished, satiated, and satisfied. And the love, if you are not there, then you have not truly embraced uh, freedom as a life style. When you begin to embrace freedom as a lifestyle, anything less than God's best, according to the word of God, brings on a level of settlement. I will propose to you that there are those of you who are under my voice today. You have settled 
for less than God's best concerning your life. But freedom is a lifestyle. Next, freedom is a mindset. Okay, you have to have a freedom mentality. Hebrews, the 11th chapter, verses 13 through 15. These all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off. Uh, and, you know, we know that Hebrews, the 11th chapter, these are the patriarchs of faith. This is where we find uh, um. Uh, Abraham, we find Sarah, amen. We, we find different people who are, are considered patriarchs of faith. Why? Because they walk truly by faith and the promises of God, amen. So these are the forerunners of faith or the examples that we need to be uh, putting before ourselves on a regular basis. So so it said that they all died in faith, but not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off and were persuaded of them, you hear that, and embraced them and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on this earth. So in order for a kingdom mindset to happen, number one, you have to be persuaded, you have to be, you have to embrace, and you have to continually confess. You have to continually uh, be persuaded, you have to continually embrace, and you have to continually confess. Amen. Hallelujah. So it says, for that, for they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a country and truly if they had been mindful of the country from which they came out they might have had opportunity to have returned to it. I would propose to you this was the biggest issue with the children of Israel. They could not get Egypt out of their mind. Freedom is a mindset. Paul says it eloquently and clearly. Beloved, mm -hmm. uh huh. Uh, he said, he said, uh, I have not arrived, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, I press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling, which tells us there's a shedding of the past that we have to quickly adjust to in order to maintain a freedom mindset. If you are one who holds on to the past, if you are one who wears your feelings on your shoulder, if you are one that cannot move quickly when God changes his mind uh, or about a situation or a circumstance, I will propose to you that you battle daily with maintaining a freedom mindset. You got to learn to wear people loosely. You got to learn to wear everything loosely. Comfort is not equated to serving God. I just want to make sure I put it out there. And if you are caught up in comfort, you will never be able to embrace a kingdom or a freedom mindset. Comfort is your greatest enemy. So a freedom mindset is detrimental in continuing to walk a walk in surveyor abundant life, satiated, well-nourished living. Okay, next you have to understand that freedom is a process. Uh -huh. Once again, freedom is a process. Hebrews, the, I mean, Deuteronomy, the eighth chapter, the second through the fifth verses read, and you shall remember always all the ways the Lord your God has led you for 40 years in the wilderness so that he might humble you, 
test you. Know what's in your heart and mind. Know whether you will keep his commandments or not. We all go through process. And every process that comes in our lives, the main areas God is coming after are humility, our ability to stand and persevere past, past the test, uh -huh. to know what's in your heart and mind. He's coming out and ensuring that our hearts and our minds are ready for what he's desiring to do in our lives, okay? And if we are willing to do the word of God for that next place, there comes a prophecy. We are excited. We look forward to the manifestation, but between the prophecy and the manifestation is process. And if you want to get past the process quicker, here are the keys. Humble yourself, continually walk in humility. Continue to persevere so you can pass the test. Allow God to cultivate your heart and your mind. And regardless of how tempting it looks, do the word of God every time. And you'll notice it moves quicker. Amen. Process don't have to take forever. You determine exactly how long the process takes. Stop blaming your pastor. Stop blaming your husband. Stop blaming your children. Stop blaming the people on your job. Mm -hmm. Humble yourself. Persevere and press. Let God purify your heart and do the word of God and watch you come out quicker than you ever have before. It says here, he humbled you and allowed you to be hungry, hungry and fed you with manna, which you did not know or did your fathers know so that he might make you understand by personal experience that man does not live by bread alone, but by man lives by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the Lord. Your clothing did not wear out on you, nor did your feet swell these 40 years. Therefore, know in your heart, be fully cognizant that the Lord your God disciplines and instructs you just as a man disciplines and instructs his son. Freedom is a process. And we will continually grow and be processed in freedom as we mature and go to different levels of freedom. Next, freedom has a cost. Uh-huh. You say you want to be free. You say you want to get rid of your hater. You say you want to walk in the fullness and the liberty that God has predestined for your life. Well, baby, I came to proudly and boldly announce that there is a cost. Freedom does not look like what many people are expecting. Oh, yeah, I'm going to pause. We're going to do a say lot moment. Freedom might not necessarily look like what you've been expecting. God will harden hearts because that's what he did for the children of Israel. He knew what he had to do to get them out of Egypt. Scripture says... He hardened Pharaoh's heart. That's uh, Exodus 7 and 3. And I will make Pharaoh's heart hard and multiply my signs and my wonders in the land of Egypt. He had to harden hearts. You, there you were chasing relationships. People have flipped and changed on you seemingly overnight. Baby, I understand. I get it. 
Oh, that was my friend. They had my back. I supported them. They supported me. But one day, all of a sudden, they stopped answering your texts, your phone calls. They stopped inviting you. They stopped communicating and reaching out to you. Mm -hmm. And you talking about the devil. Perhaps God hardened their hearts because the next level, the next place of freedom does not include them. Can you deal mm -hmm, with the cost of freedom? Freedom will cause you to walk away. Freedom will cause you to delete relationships. Freedom will cause you, uh-huh, to stop meeting with people. Freedom will cause you to disconnect from organizations, churches, people, family, friends, advocates. A lot of times you don't even see the problem, but you have to be sensitive enough to hear from God. And when God says it's time, baby, go ahead and do it. And I'm sure there are those of you who are under the sound of my voice. God has told you, call it into that relationship. Uh-huh. You didn't call it into it. You didn't pull back. You didn't reprioritize these people in your life. So God said, uh, I got to move them. And he brought such a nasty stink to if you want it to go back, you could not go back. Because the person that once loves you, hates you despises you and wants no part of you did it really have to be that way did god tell you to reposition them and out of your love your 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 undying loyalty to the person that supersede your unloyalty your undying loyalty to god you held on to that relationship and god had to bring a, a breaking in it mm -hmm. there's a cause Finally, freedom is a choice. Joshua 24 and 15 reads, Choose ye this day whom you will serve, whether the gods of our ancestors served in the region beyond the river or the gods of the Amorites in those lands you are dwelling. Uh-huh. You choose. Uh-huh. You serve any of these other gods. You have to choose. Make a conscious decision. Joshua said, but as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. You have to make a conscious decision on a regular basis. Freedom is a choice i tell people all the time offense is a choice you have to make a conscious decision to be offended you walk around here offended and waiting on an apology when you chose to be offended why do i have to apologize to you because you chose to be offended when all you had to do was do what the word of God says, when you have an heart against your brother, go to your brother, get an understanding. You chose to be hurt. You, you chose to allow people to hurt you. At some point, we have to realize that there is no perfect person in the earth realm. And I don't know about you, I have yet to meet a person in the earth realm worth my freedom and my liberty. I love my husband. Been with this man over 30 years. Love him. Amen. Love him, love him, love him. But I choose to walk in freedom. He's not my God. He's my husband. I love my children. And I can't say I wouldn't fight for them naturally because I haven't been tried. <laughs> but if I got to make a choice between my children and my freedom, I'll choose my freedom any day. Love my parents. Love, love, love them spiritually and naturally. But if I got to make a choice between them and my freedom, I choose this day for freedom and liberty. So, beloved, remember, number one, freedom is a lifestyle. Number two, freedom is a mindset. Three, freedom is a process. Four, 
freedom has a cost. And finally, freedom <laughs> is a choice. Choose ye this day that you are going to walk in the satiated, well nourished, well nourished surveyor or life or abundant life of God. Hallelujah. Let me pray with you today. Father, in the majestic and holy name of Jesus, I pray for those who are under the sound of my voice. I pray that this word penetrates their hearts, their minds, their souls, and their spirits to bring forth a manifestation of freedom and liberty that they have never known or expected concerning every area of their lives. Holy Spirit, our spiritual GPS, the one that knows us better than we know ourselves. Do a spiritual check. Do a natural liberty check, a natural freedom check, a spiritual freedom check uh, 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 concerning our lives. Show us the areas that we are falling short of our kingdom privileges in concerning freedom and liberty. God, perhaps there's someone under the sound of my voice. They are offended. They have been hurt and they have chosen to stay there. In their minds, they've made up that they cannot get up. They think that the devil has bound them in this area. But I came with us the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God that says once they lay, gave their lives unto you that they are unquestionably free from hurt, pain, offense, rejection, and every other level of emotional trauma that they may have experienced in the name of Jesus. I speak to the winds of their minds and I say begin to hear and to experience true liberty and freedom that you've never experienced before by the power, the glory, and the authority of Yeshua. I'm ashamed. I decree and I declare freedom and liberty in your mind, freedom and liberty in your spirit, even freedom and liberty to be the creative and, and uh, person that God created you to be. I come against any blockages of freedom in productivity concerning ministry or your job or your business. And I decree and I declare that the block Packages are now open and there is a free flow of liberty surveyor that you have never known or experienced before that is invading your life right now in the holy and majestic name of Yeshua Amashia. We have prayed today and somebody out of the depths of your heart release a loud and resounding amen. Hallelujah. Well, God bless you, beloved. As always, it is so such a blessing and a privilege and an honor to have you join me here. Um, wanted to share with you. Um, our kingdom dominion, my kingdom dominion uh, t-shirt, amen, hallelujah, it says I rule, reign, and execute kingdom dominion, amen, uh, my book, uh, Strategies for Kingdom Dominion, which can be purchased on um, my website, uh, tcbministries.org. You can get the book, you can get the t-shirt, and you can get your Kingdom Dominion uh, pen. The package is $35. Amen. Go by tcbministries.org. Place your order today. Um, perhaps you've decided that you need coaching. You need encouragement. Amen. Concerning coming into 
Amen. Uh, your level of freedom and liberty. I would like to um, offer my coaching services. You can find more about those also on tcbministries.org. Org. Uh, go by praywomanpray.org if you're interested in becoming a part of the women's prayer movement that God allowed me to birth. And I am so very, very, very excited to announce that on September the 10th, we will be celebrating 15 years of God's goodness and grace. Amen. On that Friday night, we will have our celebration service. None other than my spiritual daughter, Apostle Carla McDougall, will be um, the speaker for that service. On that Saturday, we're going to have a celebration gala. We will be celebrating our 15 years of ministry, goodness, and grace. Also, we will be highlighting or celebrating um, five women who have uh, um, who are of excellence and grace, who have uh, proven track records of uh, ministry and excellence, grace, and longevity. Amen. Hallelujah. And we are excited about celebrating them on September the 10th as well. Go ahead, save the date, September the 9th and 10th. We will be in um, Beach Island, South Carolina. Those of you who are in Augusta, we will be local. Those of you who will have to travel in we will be getting um information out this week so that you can go ahead and buy your ticket for the gala you can go ahead and register for our 15 year celebration so as a, a leader as a visionary i am so very blessed amen that god has blessed us to celebrate 15 years of ministry grace and excellence so if you'd like to become a part of the prayer movement are interested in hearing more about what we are doing go to praywomanpray.org well beloved as always it is a privilege it is an honor it is a blessing to have you join me for prayer time with tokeny thank you so much for your over overwhelming um support of what i am doing um go by my facebook page tokeny cheryl bush ministries and like and follow there you can keep up with what we are doing what we have going on amen and it will be a blessing um and an honor to have you uh be a part Amen. Well, I just decree and declare that the blessings of the Lord uh, and the gracing of the Lord that brings faith, wisdom, and increase in wisdom and stature uh, comes to your life now in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that the Son has already made you free and you are walking in that level of liberty and overcome over every area of your life. Have a blessed day beloved and thank you so much for your support are you looking for a place to grow your ministry? Join Winning in Prayer TV Christian Broadcasting on Roku. Your ministry will be shared on social media platforms. Streamed on Roku with the reach of 55 million homes. It will be your choice of day and time, professional editing, and a low weekly cost of $25 a week. Contact us today at 941 782 8322 or you can email at winning in prayer tv at gmail.com again contact us at 941-782-8322 winning in prayer tv at gmail.com to get more information thank you and hope to hear hi from you my soon. name is jennifer reddy and i am with winning in prayer tv on roku and here are six reasons why you should join the Winning in Prayer TV family on Roku. Reason number one, stream on Roku with a reach of 55 million people. Reason number two, reach an audience inside and outside of social media platforms. Reason number three, grow your ministry. Reason number four, choose your day and time to stream your content on Winning in Prayer TV on Roku. Reason number five, receive professional editing on your content. 
And reason number six, pay a low weekly cost of only $25. For more information, email us at winninginprayertv at gmail.com. That's winninginprayertv at gmail.com. We can't wait to hear from you and have a very blessed day. God bless you. This is Apostle Carla McDougall with Carla McDougall Ministries. Amen. I am one of the ministries that broadcast on the Winning in Prayer Network. And I'd like to take a few moments um, to just share with you my experience and to share with you um, the benefits of being able to broadcast through a godly network. Amen. I'd like to share with you um, my experience of being able to express the heart of God and to be able to share the gospel with a diverse group of people throughout this earth to be able to advance the kingdom of God in the earth by way of preaching and teaching, by way of prophesying and even in some cases providing counsel as it were to some individuals to be able to release the word of God so that the unbeliever might repent and accept Christ as his or her savior so that the believer that the babe in Christ may be strengthened and may be able to grow um, and to grow in grace and to grow by grace and to grow up into the things of God so that the more experienced the more mature perfected believer will be able to be strengthened a man in their walk and along this journey so I am extremely grateful to God for the man of God Apostle Daryl and the woman of God Pastor Tammy Johnson who are visionary and founders of the Winning in Prayer Network it has been an honor it has been an extreme blessing to, to reach a diverse group of people throughout this earth and throughout this nation to be able to minister um, in a diverse way. Um, as you all know, for those of you who are preachers of the gospel, if you are considering to be a part of this great family of ministries, I would encourage you to do so. Amen. Um, as you know, as preachers, those of us who are preachers, we understand that our greatest mandate, that our greatest assignment, that our greatest task in this earth as preachers is to be able to publish or to demonstrate the word of God and to be able to do so in, uh, to a diverse group of people. The scripture reminds us, amen, that when we publish the word of God, when we publish the heart of God, we open up the earth, we create pathways and we create um, roads and avenues by which God's people can be drawn unto him. The scripture decrees and we declare that as Christ is lifted high above the earth that he will draw all men not unto him and to have this awesome opportunity to have this awesome platform that reaches throughout the world that reaches throughout this earth to be able to lift God up by way of word to be able to to lift up the Savior by way of the word so that with that same word God can draw his people not to him close to him draw his people into his bosom um, cause his people to be a part of his family that the spirit of adoption can be released and others be drawn in I am eternally grateful and I am honored for the opportunity to be amongst such a great cloud of witnesses in this day's generation who are using this exact um, platform this exact network to be able to publish the gospel for as many people for as many diverse groups of people that are in this earth there are that many diverse preachers of the gospel it gives each of us the opportunity to administer the word of God to God's people in a way that will not only draw them unto him, but will manifest the promises of God concerning their lives. This platform, amen, is one of the great God platforms by which we advance the kingdom of God, by which we are able to advance the righteousness, the peace, and the joy of the Lord in the Holy Ghost throughout this earth. It is a tool, a mechanism that God has allowed 
allowed for his preachers and the ministers of the gospel to be able to reach magnitudes and multitudes and diverse groups of people that we otherwise will not be able to meet, that some of us will be brought into nations and into countries that we otherwise would have no experience with. So I am once again eternally grateful to God for the opportunity, a man to freely express without fear, without hesitation, the heart of God, the will of God, and the word of God concerning his people to be able to express the promises and to convey and to relay and to relate to the promises of God that the people of God, that they who confess will be able to be partakers of the promise. So once again, to Apostle Darrell and Pastor Tammy Johnson, I say once again, it's an honor and it is a privilege and I am eternally grateful for this great opportunity to use this streaming platform on the Ro on Roku TV, Winning in Prayer Network on Roku TV to be able to share the heart of God. God bless you. Once again, I am Apostle Carla McDougall with Carla McDougall Ministries. And I minister and broadcast on the Winning in Prayer Network. God bless you. Hi guys, I'm Pastor Daryl, and the scripture of the day is coming from Proverbs 21 and 1. And it reads, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord as the rivers of water. He turneth it whithersoever he will. I love this scripture because it lets you know that God is able to take the rivers of water, which is something that really isn't pliable, but he's able to take that, which isn't pliable, and turn it to his, his will, and at the same time, favoring you while doing so. I want you to be encouraged on this morning to know, even if, you, even if they've said no, that God can take that heart, turn it at the same time, favoring you. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. God is able to do whatever you need him to do. Be encouraged on this morning. I love you with the love of the Lord. Until next time, keep winning in prayer. Hi hey guys, I'm Pastor Daryl and the scripture of the day is coming from Deuteronomy 28 and 8 and it says that the Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in thy storehouses and in all that thou settest thine hands unto. And he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God uh, giveth thee. I love this verse of scripture because it lets me know that the Lord is going to bless my bank account, uh, my 401k, uh, and anything else that concerns me. But then I love the fact that it says he's going to bless whatever I put my hands to. So listen, I want you to be encouraged on, to, on this morning, whether it's your business, your ministry, or dream. I want you to know that God's blessing is going to cause you to have unprecedented momentum and traction. Be encouraged on this morning. Uh, and know that the Lord is looking out for you. So until next time, I want you to continue winning in prayer, and I'll see you next time. Hi guys, I'm Pastor Daryl, and the scripture of the day is coming from Proverbs 22, 29, and it reads, Seest thou a diligent man in his business, he shall stand before kings and not mean men. I love this verse of scripture personally because it lets me know that God has my promotion in mind. But when he promotes me, he's going to he's going to allow me to stand before someone that's favoring me because he has touched the heart of the king, as the scripture tells us in uh, Proverbs 21 and 1. So I want you to be encouraged and to know that God is going to take the fight out of it. He's going to promote you before kings and not mean men. So I want you to be encouraged on this morning and know that God has your promotion in mind. Listen, I love you with the love of the Lord. I am Pastor Darrell. And until next time, continue winning in prayer.
looking for a place to grow your ministry? Join Winning in Prayer TV Christian Broadcasting on Roku. Your ministry will be shared on social media platforms, streamed on Roku with the reach of 55 million homes. It will be your choice of day and time, professional editing, and a low weekly cost of $25 a week. Contact us today at 941 782 eight three two two or you can email at winning in prayer tv at gmail.com again contact us at nine four one seven eight two eight three two two winning in prayer tv at gmail.com to get more information thank you and hope to hear from you soon